I want to share with you today some real exciting news that was just recently published showing that modified citrus pectin is of significant benefit in patients with advanced solid tumors. This group of patients had multiple kinds of cancers, colon cancer, breast cancer, lung cancer, pancreatic cancer, ovarian cancer, throat cancer, and others. It was very surprising that, that modified citrus pectin helps the quality of life in the majority of these patients. We are talking about a group of patients with advanced cancers who undergone surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, and really these patients on the last legs of their life were able to improve their quality of life, reduce their pain. One patient with advanced prostate cancer had a 50% decrease in his PSA over a period of 16 weeks, which is very significant with significant increase in his clinical symptoms and in his pains. The study used an improvement on modified citrus pectin, which I've been working on for quite a few years. Previously, the optimal modified citrus pectin available for clinical trials and for commercial use had the molecular weight around 12,000 Daltons. I always thrived at getting a molecular weight which is a little lower, around seven to 10,000 Daltons, and ideally with different chains of range of molecular weight between 5,000 Dalton and 13,000 Dalton. The problem is that when we modified the pectin using an enzymatic process, when we got to lower molecular weight under 12,000, the modified citrus pectin started to disintegrate and there was an increase in the percentage of monogalacturonic acids in the percentage of free sugars, which have no longer the anti-cancer effect, that have no longer the cellular protection effect. In this specific modified citrus pectin, we were able to modify the enzymatic process, so we really got to the optimal molecular weight of five to 13,000 Daltons, with an average of seven, 8,000 Daltons, and with only 5% of monogalacturonic acid, only 5% of single sugars compared to the 18 to 20% in the previous modified citrus pectin. In addition, we improved our drying process. The optimal molecular weight, the optimal size with the new drying is ensuring a higher percentage of material that has the cellular benefits and a higher percentage of absorption into the bloodstream. I think that we are seeing it in these very encouraging results. The results of this new study, the results of our improved modified citrus pectin, are equivalent, if not better, than the results achieved in the same group of patients with chemotherapy, but without the side effects, without the toxicity. It is not that MCP replaces conventional therapies, but it will be a part of a whole program for patients with cellular abnormalities for patients with cancer.